Now let's see how to integrate a, a GitHub with our SonarCube. So SonarCube's integration with GitHub Enterprise and uh, GitHub.com allows you to maintain a code quality and security in our GitHub repositories. So with this integration, uh, we'll, we'll be able to uh, import uh, your GitHub repositories. So import your GitHub repositories into SonarCube to easily set up SonarCube projects. And uh, we can analyze uh, projects with GitHub Actions. So integrate analysis into your build pipelines uh, starting in uh, Sonar scanners, running in GitHub Actions, jobs can automatically detect uh, branches or pull requests being built so you don't uh, need to specifically pass them as a parameters to the scanners and uh, uh, we can uh, report your quality gate status to your branches and uh, pull request also to see your quality gate and code metric uh, results right in github so you know if it's safe to merge the branch uh, to merge the changes or not the changes or the branch to the main and authenticate with github so you can sign into sonar cube with your github credentials and finally you display code scanning alerts for vulnerabilities issues in github but uh, how do you do that let me show you so again you have to create a project. Let me click on main. So get the most out of the Sonar Cube with the branch analysis. Okay. So now what you have to do is this is using GitHub uh, Actions, GitLab CLI, and projects. So create a project. Project one. So set up. So with Jenkins or with GitHub Actions, GitLab, and other CI tool. So for now, so in spite of going for the local, you have to go for the Jenkins or GitHub Actions, whatever you want. So I, I just clicked on GitHub Action, uh, GitHub Secrets. So now in your GitHub repository, in this settings, you have to, you have to change the secrets. And create the new two new secrets. So, so this is the procedure you have to follow to make that connection possible. Possible. You just go through it and you can do it. So that's the first step. And after that, once it is done, you have to create a workflow ML file. Then you are all set to done. And whatever you want, you can do it for each and every uh, issue for a quality gate fail and pass. Uh, you're gonna get the information. So that's what. Uh, uh, so you can do that. It's a pretty simple. Yeah. Here it is.